Example of a stress calculation. So in this problem, this stainless steel material is um, pulled um, by a 120,000 uh, pounds force. So first thing we have to do anytime we have a, a schematic of the problem or practical problem, we have to kind of draw the uh, free body diagram. So the free body would be basically you take um, those um, supports from the left side off and kind of balance the force. So 120,000 pounds keeps in here. So to balance these 120,000 keeps force, we have to apply another 120,000 the other way. So the force that caused the internal ex uh, stress is that 120,000 pounds. So this question is asking what's the internal load that caused the um, the stress in this piece, so 120,000 pounds. Now, to calculate the stress, we'll have to find out the uh, cross-sectional area, so the compressive force. So to calculate the cross-sectional area, as you can realize, this hole in the middle will not be able to carry any load. So we have to subtract that uh, hole from this cross-sectional area. So the only area that's going to carry the load is this um, area and this empty space is not going to carry anything so calculate that area uh, we can see the cross-sectional area would be the total rectangular area is 2 by 8 and then minus that hole so if you project that hole there like that and subtract that area so that would be another rectangle which has the diameter 4 inches it says the 4 inch diameter piece so and then the thickness of this piece 2 so 2 times 4 so the area would be basically 2 times 4 which is equal to around 8 inches square so we know the area now to calculate the stress we know that stress is uh, force uh, divided by area stress is expressed by Greek letter sigma which is equal to force by um, area so we calculated the force is 120,000 pounds divided by the area, which is 8 inches square. So this will be basically 15,000 uh, pounds. So 15 KSI. So that would be the uh, stress uh, due to that 120,000 pound force. Now, will this section break to answer that question? We have to know the stainless steel material yield strength and the ultimate strength. So the yield strength for stainless steel material is, I think it's 40 KSI. And then the ultimate strength is the uh, 58 KSI, you can check this number in the back of the book in the appendix G. I'm just throwing that from my, just look at it a few minutes before. So the, if you draw the Steinstein diagram, it's kind of look like this for a steel material. So this is the ultimate point and this is the yield point. So if you take this material to the yield point, it will never, if you cross that point, it will never come back to uh, the original shape if you if you go over the ultimate point it will basically break even without applying any more additional forces so it just goes that way it strain goes along x-axis so basically it's not gonna fail because the load is only causing 15 ksi so the answer reads uh, no it will not fail not fail so that would be the stress calculation example.